Hello everyone. Now, if you are someone who has already worked in SQL and or you already work in SQL, you already know what group by is. But don't worry. If you are not someone who has worked in SQL, still it's going to be fine, right? So yeah, for your surprise, if you're someone who is who has worked in SQL and uh, want to have similar kind of functionality in Power BI, that's there. I'm just going to show it to you. Hold on. Now let me take you to the Power BI directly. For example, here. So I'm going to make this video from the perspective of someone who does not know what group by is those folks who already know what group by is you can you know watch this video on 1.5x speed okay now let's consider here we have this reporting month right if you can see we have this reporting month so here it simply says 1st jan 2022 first feb 2022 now let me sort this data in ascending order and here you got all the data for jan first and then similarly you would have the data for february also now my problem statement is i want to understand how many rows are there in this data how many records are there in data or how many cards in the in this data which are falling in january month which are in month in the month of january how do i do that very simple let me take you to the power query and that we can go using transform data and over here, as soon as we land over here, all that you need to do is just select or even if you don't select it, it's going to be fine. That's absolutely fine. Trust me. Okay. Now here you are in this data, go on home tab and in this transform group, you see this option group by just click on that. When you click on this, you're going to get a dialog box, which gives you two options, basic or advanced. Let's start with basic, then we will see the advanced as well. So in uh, in this one, what is it that basis on which we want to do the grouping? I mean, what is the column by which you want to know the total number of rows? That is reporting month. So just select this and the new column where you, it will be showing you the count. What is the name that you want to give? So I want to say that count of customers. Then what is the operation that you want to perform? There are multiple operations, whether you want to do the summation, average, median, mean, max, etc. Here, simple problem statement is to take the count of rows and just say, OK, as soon as you do this, here is what we get. You see the, how the data is transformed. And over here, it is showing that in reporting month of January, you have 100 cards. Same for February, March, April, May and June. Right. So if you're seeing 100 in each of the month, don't worry, this is not incorrect result this is the correct result primarily in my data for each of the month i have 100 records now let me show you a little bit about the advanced functionality right so what i can do is again <clears throat> this time i want to find the grouping basis on two part one is reporting month the other one is if you see we have buckets right here you see we have the buckets right so basis on the reporting month and the bucket i want to check out how many records are falling in each of the month in each of the buckets right so let me just do that so i just need to click group by and advance from here i am going to take reporting month add another group and from here i am going to take buckets here i'm just going to say count by month and bucket over here again i'm going to keep it count of rows but i highly increase you just in case if you have uh, balance or maybe sales amount you may like to go ahead and check out the sum or anything else i'm going to keep it to the count of rows only and just say okay when you say okay what do you see over here let me sort the data first in ascending order and over here also in ascending order so that it could make more sense to read Right. So if you see over here in the month of January for bucket zero, we have 79 accounts month of January for bucket one, we have five. Say, uh, similarly, for month of January bucket two, we have four accounts, so on and so forth. So you see how simple it is to do the grouping. So if you are someone who is working in SQL, so you would already be able to transpose the data or transform the data in SQL and then bring that into the Power BI. But for some reason, if you don't want to go back to the SQL, you can still do that into the Power BI. Now, if you want to understand further advancement of this group by function, do let me know into the comment section. I'll definitely try to make another video 
and help you understand that thing i didn't cover this add aggregation do let me know if you require to understand i'll make another video thank you very much for watching this video wish you very good